guys, this video is going to be my top five handmade Christmas gifts. Obviously, you do not have to make these Christmas themed, um, but because it's the holiday season, I decided to. And no matter what time of year it is, whoever you give them to will absolutely love you. This first gift is super easy. All you need is a large bag of, of Rolos and a bag of pretzels. I'm going to first cover a cookie sheet with a piece of parchment and then unwrap every single Rolo and put it in a bowl. Then I'm going to break open the bag of pretzels and put about half of them onto the cookie sheet, saving the other half for sandwich tops. I like to arrange these all going the same way just so that it's easier to put the top pretzel on later on. And then I'm going to put a pretzel in the center, or excuse me, a Rollo in the center of each pretzel. And try not to eat too many because you'll get sick and you need to save some for whoever you're giving them to. Next, I'm going to pop them into the oven at 350 degrees for about five minutes. You really want to watch this to make sure that they um, don't melt, but that they're nice and soft. So that when it comes time and you take them out, that you can put the pretzels on top and squish it down easily. You don't want to press too hard, just enough to make it a, like a nice little sandwich. And of course you want to taste them to make sure that they're good. Next I'm going to just um, distribute them into these four cute Chinese takeout style boxes that I got from Michael's. And then I'm going to tie a gift tag with the name of whoever I'm giving it to onto the box. And there you go. It's such a cute and simple gift and it tastes so yummy. This next gift is amazing. The girl who loves to pamper herself in the shower will love this. Um, I got this actually from a blog, so I'm just gonna pop the link down below. You guys can get the recipe there. But all it has is, in it is brown sugar, granulated white sugar, coconut oil, vanilla extract, and vitamin E capsules. And to um, break open the vitamin E capsules, you can either poke them with a pin or snip it like I did. Next, I'm gonna give all of that a good stir and it just looks like something you absolutely just want to eat. It smells so good. And then I'm just going to take one of the small, I think they're half pint mason jars, or one pint, I think it's half pint. Anyways, they're really cute and they're perfect for this gift. Um, and then I'm just gonna scoop some of it in. This recipe will make two of these jars, but if you want four, then just double it. I'm gonna pop the lid on and then I'm going to package it um, by getting out some brown paper and tracing it with a bowl that's about half inch in diameter larger than the lid of the mason jar. And this is actually brown paper wrapping paper that I got from Target. Next, I'm going to cut a cute piece of twine, also from Target, and I'm going to write on the label that it is the warm vanilla body sugar scrub. Sugar body scrub, whatever you like. Then I'm going to first tie, I, I found later on that it's easier to tie it around the jar first and then pop it off, put the paper on top and then slip it back over. So this time I struggled. If you don't have someone helping you, it's easier in the next couple gifts. Anyways, so I'm going to slip on the little label and tie it in a bow. And there is the body sugar scrub and it looks so cute, it makes a perfect gift. This next gift is one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. Now, I found the recipe on a vlog, but I modified it quite a bit, so I'm going to just write the recipe below for you guys. We're gonna start by adding one and three quarters cup of sugar to the bowl, half of a cup powdered sugar, which makes it extra creamy, and you can add a little bit more even if you'd like, and then one and a half cups of white sugar, regular sugar, two teaspoons of powdered vanilla, which you can find at Sur La Table or Cost Plus Market or online, and then one teaspoon of ground ginger, 
one teaspoon of allspice, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon ground nutmeg, one teaspoon of cardamom. I got the granules because I'm going to be passing it through a grinder, but if you do not have that, then get the ground stuff. Um, and then the last thing is one teaspoon ground cloves. And as an option, you can put half a teaspoon of white pepper for an extra kick, but I personally like mine a little bit more sweet and not quite as spicy. Next, we're gonna give that a good mix and then get out a coffee grinder that it will dissolve in hot water instantly. Next, we're going to pass about half of a cup at a time into the coffee grinder and grind until we've gone through all the mixture. And as I'm grinding, I will add it to a mason jar. This will make enough for two pint-sized mason jars. Next, I'm going to again take a bowl that is about half inch in diameter, um, larger than the mason jar lid, and trace it onto some very festive colored fabric and cut the fabric out. Then I'm going to write the directions onto a cute label that is a chai tea mix and that you add two to three teaspoons to six to eight ounces of hot water. Then we're going to put the lid on and take a piece of twine and cut it to size. And I got better at this after making a couple of things, so just keep practicing. It, it really starts going smoother. And first, I'm going to tie it in a knot around the lid, pop it back off, put the fabric in place and slide the loop of twine around the top. Then you can either just tie it in a bow or if you want to make it even cuter, um, you can add a teaspoon like I did. And there you go, it's all ready to gift. This next gift is a dupe for the popular Glam Glow face mask. Um, you're gonna start with a quarter cup of bentonite clay. This stuff is amazing. It's just wonderful your skin, for your skin in general. Um, and then we're going to add two tablespoons of coconut oil. I just melted mine a little bit in the microwave so it'd be easier to work with. And then eight capsules of charcoal. You can find this in the supplement aisle of a health food store. And you're just going to pop open each capsule and dump out the charcoal. Then we're gonna add one tablespoon of aloe vera gel and then three drops of peppermint essential oil and two drops of tea tree essential oil. And you can also find these at health food stores. And if you want to, you can add some lemon essential oil and it will give a lightning treatment to your skin as you put the mask on. And then we're just going to mix that all in, adding four ounces of chamomile tea at a, a little bit at a time until it's all incorporated. I'm going to write on the label that is the Glam Glow Mud Mask. I got this recipe also from a blog, so I will link that down below too. And then I'm just going to scoop some of it into a half pint sized mason jar. Um, this recipe will fill three mason jars, three of the little mason jars um, full, or four of them um, with just a little bit of room at the top. Um, and I'm going to follow the same procedure to put the paper circle on the top of the jar. And I got all the strings and um, from Target and then the labels I got from Michael. And if you guys have any questions about any of these gifts, let me know in the comment section. I will try to get back to you um, with the answers if I can. And then you just tie that string into a bow and it is such a cute gift. And this is actually a highly requested gift. Um, I have had people tell me that they would not mind getting this for Christmas and it looks so cute. Presentation is everything. The fifth and final gift um, in this DIY video is going to be my pumpkin spice pecan waffle mix. Um, this is so easy. You're going to start with six cups of, of all-purpose flour. You can easily substitute gluten-free flour for this if you're giving it to a friend who is gluten-free. And then three tablespoons of baking powder. Next we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of salt, one third cup sugar, Two tables or two teaspoons of powdered vanilla. Like I said, you can find this at Sur La Table. I'll put a link of places you can find it down below. Um, I just love to add it to mix. It gives mixes. It gives such a rich vanilla -y flavor. It makes everything so good. 
Um, and then last, of course, we're going to add two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. And then we're gonna give that a mix. And I almost forgot the pecans, but we're gonna add a cup and a half of those and just mix them in quickly. These would not be pumpkin spice pecan waffles without them. Is it pecan or pecan? I'm not even sure. I've always said pecan. At this point, you're going to divide it between two gallon-sized freezer bags. Um, or if you don't know how to sew or don't have a sewing machine, you can put it into a quart-sized mason jar and decorate the lid with fabric like we did for the chai tea mix. Um, if you do like to sew, then we're going to make a cute bag with a piece of very festive fabric. Um, first, I'm going to open the fabric all the way up and then fold it again a little bit and make sure that that piece that I just folded up um, is measured 12 inches by 10 inches. And then I'm going to just cut the side and the top so that I have one piece that is folded in half. Then I'm going to fold it again inside out so that the outside of the fabric is showing and then and I'm going to make a seam down each side of the fabric. If you don't know how to sew, then you can always ask someone who likes to sew to do this for you because really it makes such a cute gift. So as soon as we're done, I'm going to just clip off any strings that are just hanging around and then we're going to fold the bag right side out once more. And I'm just going to pop one of the freezer bags into the fabric bag we just sewed and then I'm going to cut a piece of twine to tie around the top. And then I'm going to write the name on the cute little gift label, gift tag. Um, you can print this out, but I prefer the handwritten look. And I'm just going to write the name on the top and then the directions, which once again will be down below. Next, I'm just going to take some little bits of uh, um, some evergreen tree, um, some berries. If it's not Christmas space, you can put anything um, just to kind of decorate the bag. Then I'm going to tie those in place um, and arrange them a little before I put the label on. And that's how we make our pecan waffle mix. I think this would be perfect for a Christmas morning breakfast because it's yummy, it's festive, and you don't have to do much work. So if you guys would like to see more videos like this one, please comment down below and of course subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.